winning used to be the most important thing. Like you think about like the you hear these guys talk from the seventies and the eighties and then in the nineties. We all watched The Last Dance. You think Michael Jordan cared about being MVP, this, that, and the other thing? Like, sure, yes, he wanted to prove that he was the best, but it didn't matter if he didn't win, right? right. So winning was the most important thing. Now with these guys, it's well, I have my stats and I got my MVP trophy and I got my one ring that I bandwagon to. So at least nobody could say I, oh, I'm not a champion. And now it's really just about like, well, oh, let me win some scoring titles and make some money. If you're a Nets fan and you want to see them win a championship, you pay tickets. The team pays the players to win championships. Most of them. We know from speaking with Matt Murphy, there's some teams that aren't in the business of winning. They're just out yep. to make money, as a lot of sports franchises are. They just want to be good enough to turn a profit. But the teams that are trying to win, if you're a fan of those teams and you're paying guys like Durant $40 million and they say, well, I'm just trying to be the best version of me and I don't really care if we win a championship. It's not That's not the priority. At what point does that start to affect what those guys get on the market? Will it come to a point where this sort of thing affects the league's bottom line. If, if everybody, that's what I'm saying after LeBron, LeBron's like you said, LeBron, Anthony Davis. I think there's, there's certainly guys who are motivated, but these upper echelon stars, how driven are they to win championships, to compete? Not just, Oh, I play basketball and make, you know, it's, it's a, like, it's a job. Does that yeah. hurt the NBA? Not having the competitiveness. And the rivalry. If you just have every couple of years guys bandwagon onto a team so that they have the easiest path to win a championship, it devalues the whole thing. I'm just wondering where the, how far will this mentality yeah. go? And will it will it ruin not just the NBA but all sports? The spirit of it is is in the competition. And if the competition goes away and it's just who these guys won't be getting people won't watch. And there's no way these guys are gonna get paid forty million dollars a year if people don't watch.